What drives a seemingly ordinary teenager to commit an act of such brutal violence? A question that has puzzled many as we explore the unnerving narrative of Daniel Marsh. An average young man, his life took a sinister turn that shocked everyone. It's a story that transcends the boundaries of what we perceive as normal, pushing us to confront the darkness that can lurk within the most unsuspecting of individuals. Today, we delve into the chilling case of Daniel Marsh. Born in California, Daniel Marsh's childhood seemed normal on the surface. Nestled in the suburban tranquility of Davis, Daniel was brought up in a loving household with his parents. As a young boy, he was known for his intellect and wit, often impressing his teachers with his quick grasp of knowledge. His parents, both respected members of the community, provided a comfortable life for their son, nurturing his talents and encouraging his interests. Yet, this picture-perfect family was not without its cracks. Daniel's parents divorced when he was still young, a tumultuous event that shook the young boy's world. Following the divorce, Daniel's behavior began to change. He became distant, detached, his once bright demeanor replaced with a cold aloofness. His academic performance dipped, and he started displaying signs of aggression. He was no longer the boy who charmed his teachers with his intellect. He was now a troubled teenager grappling with his emotions. His mother, concerned about these changes, sought professional help. Daniel was diagnosed with depression and prescribed medication, yet this only seemed to exacerbate his troubles. He began experimenting with drugs, spiraling further down a path of self-destruction. Beneath the facade of a typical American family, Daniel's life was far from ordinary. The idyllic suburban life masked a darker reality, a young boy's descent into a world of chaos and violence. This seemingly normal childhood was merely a prelude to a horrifying act that would shake a community to its core. But as we'll see, beneath the surface, a storm was brewing. In the early hours of April 14, 2013, a crime of unimaginable horror was committed. As the quiet town of Davis, California lay sleeping, an insidious plot was unfolding. Daniel Marsh, a local teenager, was not tucked into bed like most of his peers. Instead, he was wide awake, his mind teeming with dark thoughts. Fueled by a toxic cocktail of adolescent angst and deep-seated resentment, Marsh decided to channel his inner demons into a heinous act. His victims? Oliver Northup, a respected attorney, and his wife, Claudia Maupin, a beloved church volunteer. The elderly couple had no idea that their peaceful slumber would be their last. As the night deepened, Marsh silently slipped into the couple's home, carrying with him the chilling tools of his malevolent intentions. The house, an epitome of tranquility, was about to witness a scene straight out of a horror movie. With a cold, ruthless precision, Marsh carried out his gruesome plan, leaving behind a crime scene that would shock even the most hardened of law enforcement officers. The details are too grisly to recount, but suffice to say, the sheer brutality of the act was a chilling testament to the darkness lurking within the teenager's mind. When the dawn broke, it unveiled a horrifying sight. Northup and Maupin's lifeless bodies were discovered by a close friend who, expecting a morning of companionship, was instead greeted by an image of sheer terror. The peaceful home had been transformed into a chilling tableau of violence and dread. News of the horrific incident spread like wildfire, sending ripples of shock and fear through the tight-knit community. Parents clutched their children closer, neighbors looked at each other with suspicion, and an eerie silence descended upon the town. The peaceful community was left reeling, as they struggled to comprehend the horror that had unfolded. The tranquility of Davis was shattered, replaced with a palpable sense of fear and disbelief. A grim reminder that even within the most serene of places, evil can lurk in the most unexpected of faces. As the police began their investigation, they faced a daunting task. The crime scene was meticulously cleaned, leaving behind no obvious clues, it seemed as though the perpetrator had vanished into thin air, leaving the police in a quandary. The investigators were relentless in their pursuit of justice. They worked round the clock, gathering evidence, interviewing potential witnesses, 
and piecing together the puzzle of this horrific crime. It was a race against time as the community lived in fear with a killer possibly still on the loose. The first breakthrough came weeks into the investigation. A witness recalled seeing a strange figure lurking near the victim's house on the night of the crime. This figure was later identified as a teenager but the connection to the crime was still unclear. In the meantime, the police were also analyzing the crime scene and its surroundings with a fine-toothed comb. The meticulousness of the crime suggested a perpetrator with a disturbing level of sophistication and planning. This led them to consider the possibility that this was not a random act of violence. As the investigation progressed, the police started to zero in on a suspect, Daniel Marsh. A local teenager, Marsh was known for his dark humor and fascination with violent movies. He was also the same teenager the witness had seen near the victim's house on the night of the crime. The police decided to bring Marsh in for questioning. His initial cool demeanor slowly crumbled under the weight of the evidence against him. After hours of intense interrogation, Marsh confessed to the brutal crimes. He detailed his gruesome actions with a chilling lack of remorse, leaving the investigators aghast. The community was shocked when they learned of Marsh's arrest. The thought that such a heinous crime could be committed by one of their own was unthinkable. Parents struggled to comprehend how a seemingly normal teenager could turn into a ruthless killer. The shocking truth was finally revealed. The killer was one of their own. The arrest of Daniel Marsh marked a dark day in the community's history, a reminder of the hidden dangers that can lurk beneath the surface of ordinary life. As Daniel Marsh stood trial for his crimes, the courtroom was filled with tension. The legal proceedings began with the prosecution laying out the enormity of the charges against Marsh. They painted a chilling picture of a teenager whose actions were cold, calculated, and shockingly brutal. The prosecution's case was built on a mountain of evidence, including Marsh's own confession. They argued that Marsh's crimes were not the result of a momentary lapse in judgment, but a deliberate act of gruesome violence. Moreover, they pointed out Marsh's lack of remorse which they claimed was a clear indication of his dangerous nature. On the other side of the courtroom, the defense had a daunting task ahead of them. They sought to humanize Marsh, presenting him as a troubled young man who had been failed by the system. They argued that Marsh's actions were the result of severe mental health issues, including a diagnosis of antisocial personality disorder. They implored the jury to consider this, arguing that Marsh was more a victim of his circumstances than a cold-blooded killer. The jury was presented with two starkly different portrayals of the same person. They were left to grapple with the question, was Daniel Marsh a remorseless monster or a disturbed teenager in desperate need of help? The trial was an emotionally charged affair, and the verdict was anxiously awaited. After a series of deliberations, the jury returned with their decision. Daniel Marsh was found guilty of his crimes. The courtroom fell silent as the verdict was read out. Marsh, who had remained emotionless throughout the trial, showed no reaction. It was a sobering moment, a stark reminder of the horrifying crimes he had committed. With the conclusion of the trial, Daniel Marsh's fate was sealed. The trial had served its purpose, providing a measure of justice for the victims, but it also left many unanswered questions about the nature of evil and how a seemingly ordinary teenager could commit such unthinkable acts. In the aftermath of the trial, many questions remained. The verdict had been delivered, but the echoes of this chilling crime continued to reverberate through the community. Left in the wake of Daniel Marsh's actions, a town was left grappling with a profound sense of loss and a shattered sense of security. For those who knew Daniel, the transformation from a seemingly normal teenager into a convicted killer was a shocking revelation. Friends, family, teachers, all were left wondering how they missed the signs, how they failed to see the darkness lurking beneath Daniel's facade. This regret, this soul-searching, is a painful part of the aftermath, a testament to the ripple effects of such heinous crimes. From a legal perspective, the case was a stark reminder of the complexities of our justice system. The trial had raised contentious issues about juvenile justice, mental health, and the degree of responsibility. 
the question of Daniel's mental state at the time of the crime, the nature of his sentencing, and the subsequent appeals. These sparked debates that lingered long after the courtroom doors closed. Psychologically, the case of Daniel Marsh offered a chilling exploration into the mind of a killer. The duality of his persona, an average teenager on one side and a cold-blooded murderer on the other, was a disturbing reminder of the human capacity for evil. The case served as a stark wake-up call for mental health professionals, emphasizing the importance of early detection and intervention in cases of severe psychopathology. The lasting impact of Daniel Marsh's crime is immeasurable. The lives he took can never be replaced, and the scars he left on his community may never fully heal. His story serves as a cautionary tale, a grim reminder of the potential consequences of untreated mental illness and the devastating effects of violence. As we reflect on the case of Daniel Marsh, we are left with a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface.